We are performing the Craig's test to test for femoral antiversion or retroversion. Indications for this test are towing in or out posture during stance and suspected dysfunction related to femoral alignment. Contraindications for this test include avascular necrosis of the femoral head, femoral head fracture, and if the patient is unable to lay prone. The psychometrics of this test, according to Dutton Orthopedic, cites evidence that the test was accurate to within four degrees of intraoperative measurements for the assessment of femoral antiversion or retroversion and was more accurate than radiographic measurements. More recent studies have determined that there is fair to poor inter-rater reliability of Craig's test due to the inaccurate palpation of the greater trochanter, especially with overweight individuals. Test steps include testing the uninvolved side first, then involved. First position the patient in prone. The therapist should stand on the testing side and palpate the greater trochanter. The therapist flexes the knee to 90 degrees. While holding at the ankle, internally and externally rotate the femur, palpating the greater trochanter with the other hand. Determine the point at which the greater trochanter is most prominent laterally, and measure the angle of the tibia to the vertical axis. Hi Laura, my name is Jill Robson. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Um, what I want to start out with is a test called the Craig's test. It's going to test for the alignment of your hips. So can I have you go ahead and lay on your stomach please? What I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting my hand right here on that side of your hip and I'm going to be feeling for a bone right here. Is it okay if I go underneath your shorts? Okay. So I'm going to be turning your leg inwards and outwards in order to feel this bone a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and bend your leg and I'm going to turn your leg inwards and outwards again. And what I'm feeling for here is I'm going to feel for where I can feel this bone pop out the most and that's going to tell me a little bit about the alignment of your hip. So right about here is where I feel it popping out the most. So I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement. Right here is the angle where I felt your greater trochanter most prominent. So I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement. The stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the table or vertical. And the movable arm is going to be the midline of your tibia. You are at 14 degrees right now, which is within the normal limits, the 8 to 15 degrees of normal antiversion. Now I'm just going to show you what would be a abnormal result for this test. If her leg were to be turned out further this way, greater than 15 degrees, that would be considered excessive antiversion. And if her leg would be closer to vertical or even turned inward, that would be considered retroversion. <laughs> Hi Laura, my name is Jill Robson. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. <laughs> Hi Laura, my name is Jill Robson. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. <laughs>